guys welcome to the chic home the place where i share home decor inspiration and fun and easy diys so today's video is the second installment in my daughter's may room makeover journey so in the last video i had uh, shown how i had upcycled her bed um leaving some elements of wood as is so today's video is going to focus on the side table so this side table i actually picked up from a thrift store so immediately when i saw it i felt that that it had a lot of potential so uh, it had a very pretty pine wood uh, top on it and um, the top was just probably sprayed with uh, to uh, a clear top coat or a polyurethane sealant so what i'm going to do is to tie it in with the bed i'm going to leave the top as it is i'm just going to sand it and then add polyurethane over it, it. matches to the elements of bare wood that are going to be there in her then i'm going to add a nice uh, back drop in terms of uh, cardstock or something uh, or maybe a fabric uh, which i've actually sourced so um, let's see how that goes uh, i'm going to start with of course standing and then priming because those are the most two, two most essential parts whenever you begin to start flipping a piece of furniture the things that you need for this diy would be paint a primer if you're using latex main high density foam rollers paint tray, spray adhesive, a drill, exacto knife, knob and a drop cloth. Started out with sanding the top of the side table and the pine was looking amazing after sanding. I was just loving the way the bare wood looked. Now I'm going to start masking the area that I don't want my color to be on. Once the masking was done, I started applying an even coat of the primer all throughout the side table and covered every bit. Once the side table was primed, I let it sit out for drying and I proceeded to remove all the hardware from the drawer. At this point, before priming, if you want to fill in the hole that was created by the hardware on the drawer, you can do so with a wood filler. Also, I would like to draw your attention to what my daughter is doing. While I was busy priming the drawer, she created a big huge mess for me to clean. <laughs> So I finished priming and sanding my side table and now I'm going to start painting. Very excited to try out Southern Comfort from Benjamin Moore. Just love this dusty pink shade and I'm sure it's going to come out very well. So let's get started. beautiful it is such a nice light dusty pink shade and i'm just going crazy over this i think i want to paint everything in my house this color now i think the good thing about painting with a roller is that you know your finish is always very even and you don't really have to worry about how your strokes are going to stand out so i recommend using a paint roller to paint out for an even and a clean finish of course for the areas that are hard to reach you can always use a paint brush and fill it in but a paint roller definitely gives a cleaner finish so I've just finished doing the first coat on this um, and now I'm going to start uh, with the drawer and once the first coat dries then I'm going to do a second coat and I think the color is going to be even more gorgeous. So 
while the paint is drying, I am going to remove the masking tape and seal my top of the side table with a water-based polyurethane and let that all dry together. And then the next bit is the most fun bit and that I've been waiting for is of course applying the beautiful cardstock that I have. Um, I'll show you guys in a bit. So I just loved how the top of the side table was looking in the end. The wood grain was showing through, through the top coat and the light pine color was tying in very well with her bed. So my daughter is back from school and we are trying to decide what should be put inside the side table. So I have two options here. One is this very beautiful floral cardstock and another is this very cute peppy cherry fabric which has like cherries all over it. So I think I'll let my daughter decide. Sara, so what do you want, Bita? Do you want the cardstock or do you want the cherries? Cherries! Cher My most favorite part of the DIY covering the inside of the side table with a fabric and of course doing it with my daughter around was another challenge but uh, overall I had a lot of fun. Now I've measured the fabric according to the width of the side table. And I'm just going to use a spray-on adhesive and just stick it. Once the fabric was stuck on the back, I just took my exacto knife and trimmed and cleaned out the edges. Once that was done, I took my very trusted drill and drilled in a hole and attached my hardware to the drawer. So this is how my side table looked in the end. Totally in love with the color and the backdrop. Also, I think it's a very valuable addition for my daughter's room makeover. Let me know what you guys think about this flip in the comments section below. And see ya until next time.